Tonight, the sports world grinding to a halt after a devastating injury during Monday night football and now players, coaches and millions across the world praying for a miraculous recovery for Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin. Our Jory Rand joins us live with the latest details on this tragic event and new reaction from a medical expert and from across the sports world. Jory? Yeah, David, 24 year old Damar Hamlin nearly died on the field tonight. It seemed like a harmless play early in this Monday night football game and Hamlin even stood up after the hit. But he then collapsed and his heart stopped right there on the spot. We are awaiting official word from the hospital in Cincinnati tonight. But the Buffalo Bills just put out a brief statement on Twitter that reads Damar Hamlin suffered a cardiac arrest following a hit in our game versus the Bengals. His heartbeat was restored on the field and he was transferred to the UC Medical Center for further testing and treatment. He is currently sedated and listed in critical condition. It's as positive an outcome as could be hoped for after what turned into a terrifying situation. It's one of the scariest scenes we have ever seen in North American sports. A player down on the field, CPR being performed. Players are down on their knees. Other players are holding hands, praying. You can just see the word looks. It happened during Monday night football in Cincinnati. The Buffalo Bills' DeMar Hamlin was making a tackle. He was able to get back up, but collapsed back to the turf. Hamlin's teammates were in tears as medical officials worked on him before he was taken to the hospital in critical condition and the game was suspended. Never saw anything like that in, in my years of playing. Former Ram Roland Williams played eight seasons in the NFL and tonight left him shaken and as he put it, triggered. Just confused, um, just alarmed, triggered. You know, as, as former players, we understand the risk that comes with playing the game and we never want that to happen to anybody, any of our brothers. Um, and it was just a, a sad moment and I'm just praying for him, man, and hope that he comes out of this okay. A crowd of fans from both teams gathered outside the hospital where Hamlin was being treated and players on the Buffalo Bills who didn't make the trip back to Buffalo tonight making their way to the trauma center as well. He was able to get back up. That leads us to believe this is more of a cardiac injury. Dr. Anthony Cardillo joined us this evening to talk about what could have happened and says a likely possibility is that Hamlin's chest was hit in the exact spot at the exact moment during his heartbeat that could have stopped his heart. If you have traumatic trauma to the, the chest at a very specific moment, as that heart is repolarizing itself, you can go into a lethal ventricular arrhythmia. And that's what it looks like it happened. NFL players have suffered traumatic injuries over the years, typically spinal or brain injuries. But back in 1971, Chuck Hughes of the Detroit Lions died on the field of a heart attack. Thankfully, that fate was avoided tonight, but it brought back very painful memories especially here in Southern California of Hank Gathers, a basketball player at Loyola Marymount who collapsed on the court during a game back in 1990 and died a short time later. The medical staff helped make sure that did not happen to DeMar Hamlin, but this affected the entire league and really all of sports. Both the Rams and Chargers sending out well wishes on Twitter tonight. Former Ram Andrew Whitworth writing about how the league will reschedule this game, saying no good answer, but who cares? What if none of them want to ever play again? This is bigger than football scenarios. And future Hall of Famer J.J. Watt tweeting, the game is not important. DeMar Hamlin's life is important. Please be okay, please. But a ray of light coming from this tragedy. Fans left feeling helpless tonight discovered that an old charity drive Hamlin organized a few years ago was still active. And tonight, more than $2 million have been raised in just about three hours. An incredible outpouring of support for DeMar Hamlin. You saw that total there, 2.9 million within the last few minutes. Just now, that total topped $3 million. Now, there is still the business of football, which became pretty insignificant in an instant tonight. This had been a pretty important game for playoff positioning, but it's going to be difficult to reschedule, assuming the players even want to at this point. So there's a decent chance this game will not be made up. We will see in the coming days as we also await another update, hopefully a positive one. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.